hi guys good morning welcome or welcome back to my channel in case you are new here my name is Lily Mnyasi from Kenya East Africa where are you watching from this is western part of Kenya Africa please subscribe and be sure to like my videos comment and share it with your friends so on today's video I'm going to show you how we prepare the most common delicious and nutritious African village breakfast you will never miss this in a Kenyan home in the morning this is the typical breakfast it is called chai it is tea in English how do you call it in your local language let me know in the comment section below after the milk has boiled we will add water this is my niece she is helping me to prepare this breakfast while i stay behind the camera thank you please give this video a like or a thumbs up let me know that you are liking the video so we use firewood to cook and this one today it is not three stones so it is not so very clear because we don't have electricity or light in the kitchen so it is not so much bright but i believe you are seeing so this is the mixture of water and milk boiling on our cooking pot do you use firewood to cook let me know in the comment section below because your comment delights me so we will add majani chai tea leaves in english this is tea leaves made in kenya we actually plant tea leaves in kenya we process it and we export it this is the kenyan tea so we will leave the mixture of milk water and the tea leaves to boil and once it boils as you are seeing over there can you see some bubbles starting forming yes so after the milk water tea leaves boils we will add sugar do you prefer tea to coffee i prefer tea so we will add the sugar as such we don't like too much sugar in my family so we'll just add some little because we are going to take this tea with sugary snacks so i prefer tea in the morning and coffee in the evening who is my twin let me know in the comment section below if you actually like tea in the morning and coffee in the evening your comment delights me thank you so after adding the sugar we leave it to boil again for some five minutes or so mm -hmm. where are you watching from let me know in the comment section below this is western part of kenya east africa africa so to ensure that the our tea does not overflow into the fire we use this cup to make sure it doesn't we put steel inside if you are boiling milk this is a kitchen tip that i'm giving you if you are make you are boiling milk you can drop inside a spoon a steel spoon or iron spoon you put it inside then it will stop overflowing 
please give me a like because of that tip. Did you ever know that? Let me know in the comment section below. And our tea is ready. We will have to serve it in our birika. This is not a flask. It is a birika. We call it ebinika in my local language. How do you call it in your language? Let me know in the comment section below. I like learning new languages. I will be happy if you tell me how some things are called in your local language. Thank you. So we will save the tea leaves as shown above. Then the remaining tea, we will cool it down for the babies. Yeah, who just woke up? This is my son, the grandmother. We are all here waiting for the breakfast. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the tea that has been cooled down will be put in the cups for the babies. They don't take hot tea. But I'm also a big baby. I don't take hot tea. <laughs> Did you laugh at me? Please don't. So let's serve our tea. And you are welcome. Because you subscribe, you are welcome. If you haven't, I will give you half the tea. Tomorrow, if you subscribe, I will give you a full mug. Thank you. So how do you serve your tea with? We are serving with matoke. This is fufu in Nigeria. So we will serve it with this. If you haven't watched my video on preparation of the plantain fufu, kindly consider going back to my previous video and watch it thank you for going there to support me i appreciate you so so much today i decided to do a voiceover for the whole video how do you like it should i continue or not let me know in the comment section below thank you so so much see you next